A medical abortion uses medications to end a pregnancy. The most common product is a combination of two drugs, mifepristone and misoprostol, and they are up to 98% effective if taken in the first 10 weeks of pregnancy. Mifepristone is swallowed with a glass of water. It blocks progesterone, which causes the lining of the uterus to break down. Some people have light bleeding, but most don't feel anything. Misoprostol is taken one to two days later by placing two tablets in each cheek pouch for 30 minutes. Misoprostol causes the cervix to open and the uterus to contract. Heavy bleeding starts within three hours, may include lemon-sized clots, and should only last a few hours. The pregnancy is usually expelled within 24 hours. Misoprostol can cause diarrhea, vomiting, cramping, tiredness, and fever for 24 hours. Useful over-the-counter treatments include loperamide for diarrhea and diamond hydronate for nausea. Expect strong and painful cramps, which can be managed with naproxen, ibuprofen, or a prescription opioid. Seek urgent care if any of these occur. Soaking two maxi pads per hour for more than two hours, clots larger than the size of a lemon for more than two hours, pain that doesn't improve with medicine, or fever of 38 degrees Celsius, vomiting, diarrhea, or weakness more than 24 hours after taking misoprostol. Medical abortion is not an option when a person has one of the following. Uncertainty about having an abortion, an ectopic pregnancy, an intrauterine device that cannot be removed, uncontrolled asthma, a bleeding disorder or blood thinners, serious anemia, Addison's disease, porphyria, or an allergy to mifepristone or misoprostol. A surgical abortion may be preferred in some of these cases.